good? Yeah. So, Cody, tell us about yourself. Well, my name's Cody Travis. I've been a sales associate here at the Battlegrounds for the past almost going on eight years now. Um, usually, I'll be here anytime anybody comes in. I'm here about 40 hours a week, so this is basically my second home. <laughs> so, you've been here for about eight years. Yeah. How have you seen the community grow and change this, this time? I've seen... It's 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 weird, really, because I've seen, you know, people when I first started to come in as kids who have grown up now to where, like, it's kind of scary because some of them are, like, almost my height now, but they've, they've been coming in for so long. Now, I've watched them grow up, and it applies to all of our uh, game communities, too, like Magic, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, there's some of the people that come in and play Yu-Gi-Oh that I've seen uh, the whole time I've been here and I've watched some of those kids just grow up and it's, 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 it's odd, but it's, it's satisfying at the same time to see that, that over the eight years, I still see a consistent grow in the community and still see the same people I've seen since I started doing it. So how has the store grown during this time? It's grown a, uh, it's grown a lot actually. We've been able to carry a lot more stuff that we weren't able to starting out because we didn't have the community for it. Um, that that mainly applies to a lot of the miniature games like Warhammer and like all the other ones that we carry. But seeing the uh, the Magic community grow the way it has, the Pokemon community, all the other card game communities, and seeing uh, more people coming in, their collectors. For our other stuff, like all of our action figures and things like that, has it everything has grown exponentially since I started here, and it's still growing now. What are your favorite events that the store hosts? The learn to play events are probably my favorite thing that we do because it gives people the opportunity to come in who have never touched a card game before, and it gives me the opportunity to sit down with somebody who knows what they're doing and learn how to play it from the start and leave the store with more knowledge about that particular game and maybe turn them into a regular who comes in and wants to play you know like that doesn't matter if it's uh, Yu-Gi-Oh on Saturdays or Magic on Fridays or whatever it is just as long as you know they enjoyed it so if you could only play one game of any kind for the rest of your life what would it be oh I hadn't really thought about that. Uh, I'm hitting you with a hard hitting. Yeah. <laughs> um, mm, I think my heart will, you know, always have that spot for, for, uh, for magic. But like, be, but beyond that, for uh, commander, uh, that's that's like one of the first formats I played besides playing uh, at F and M's back in the day and being a, a hood rat. You know, <laughs> I would. Uh, we started playing when it was called Elder Dragon Highlander mm. before Commander was even the word for it. So I guess that would be it. I mean, that's yeah. uh, that's kind of what I've uh, started doing again now mm. is building up a collection so I can play Commander as it is. What's your favorite thing about working at Battlegrounds? I think it's making connections with the people that come in. Um because with this job, there's not a lot of other jobs where you can just stand and talk to people and hang out with them and, you know, talk to them about just all the cool stuff you see around here, just like in general. Um, so I've made a lot of friends working here. I mean, I've, I've met a lot of really cool people. And I mean, and it, and it still happens more every day. So I think that's probably my favorite part 